Hello everyone, so today we have another power supply from Fujitsu. This is a Fujitsu power supply. I have already took the screws apart and this cover over here. So first thing we need to check is if there is a voltage in the main capacitor. So how much do we have here? So we have 0.49 which is safe to touch okay <clears throat> so now if we take this cover we can see almost everything so this power power supply does not work i have tested it uh, but there is no output at this connector not even the green wire so <clears throat> the first thing we check is the fuse so where is the fuse uh, I think it is somewhere here I think we need to take this board out Okay. <clears throat> so the fuse is here, this one. This is the fuse. Okay, so let's test it. So the fuse is the fuse is good. We have a continuity. So if we go and check after the bridge rectifier the bridge rectifier is over here this is the bridge rectifier this black thingy over here so if we test the outer bins we have no short the inner bins the AC side we have no shorts <coughs> so if we test this diode also we have no short so I think the primary side is good this board is good actually and the fault maybe is in the secondary side so it must be in this board okay so I think we need to take this board out also okay let me just take it out okay so the board is out so the mains voltage come from these wires to this connector so if we can disconnect this connector okay so this board is out away now as you can see we have here the switching transistors so these transistors here comes after the mains uh, so if we test these transistors normally these transistors go shorted okay so also we have a diode here or a transistor that we can test also and also another one here okay so we can test them <clears throat> let me just remove this fan okay and also we need to remove this plastic shield okay. so if we test in diode mode these transistors first one is here yeah this one this is actually shorted what about the other one I think they are not shorted maybe there is a resistor in parallel with them so 
This one actually has a resistor involved with it. So this is the three legs of this transistor. And here is a small SMD resistor that is in parallel with the gate and the collector and the emitter, I, I, I mean. The other one here, I don't actually know if there is a resistor because nothing in here as SMD and also nothing in here as through hole resistors but there is a big resistor over here if we can test this one this one is showing continuity so it is I think one ohm resistor sorry it is a low value resistor I can I can take that transistor out and test it out to make sure it is not shorted we have also a diode here if we can test this one this is okay what about this SMD diode it is okay what about this one it is okay do we have a short to ground 12 volt line to ground it is not shorted if we go to resistance mode point 2k so it is 284 ohms it is low but it is not shorted okay so if we test this resistor I think this resistor is burned so you can see a hole in it if we go to microscope so the resistor is this one as you can see it has a hole in the middle of it so if we test this this is a low value resistor I think this is a 2.2 ohm or 0.22 ohm like that if we test it we have it 2.2 mega ohm which is not correct okay so this actually this resistor I think is going to this transistor here or I mean IC this is the main switching IC let's let's check these two diodes next to it if we go again to the camera okay so the IC is over here yeah and there's two diodes next to it pointing this way so if we test this one in diode mode this is okay and this one is okay okay so here we have another diode it is okay okay do we have all only that resistor shorted I am, uh, or I mean band maybe this resistor is just or is faulty on this let's check this transistor over here and this transistor also it is not shorted this way it is shorted okay we need to take that out to check it okay the other one is over here and this one I think this is not shorted yeah I think it's not shorted but the other one I don't know actually because 
it's not obvious if there is anything any resistor in parallel with it so I think I'll take this out to check it and then we will replace this resistor and we will try it also I will ch check this transistor over here because it shows that it is shorted as you can see okay this side goes to this chamber wire yeah there is a resistor actually this resistor is what caused it to short <clears throat> so this resistor is 10k In K should not so should not cause it to short. So I don't know if it is really shorted or I think we, it's better to take it out. So let's take it out. So it's out. Let me just tweak it. Let's test this transistor now. It is not shorted. So it is because the of the circuit. 0.4 voltage drop okay now it's open maybe if we if we just show these three pins together Is it still sh shorted? No, it is. It isn't. So I think this transistor is okay. Its number is K10A60DR. It is okay. So let's install it back.
let's take the other one which is this one <clears throat> so here is the transistor Let's test this. This is this is good actually. Yeah, it is good. It's not shorted. So maybe that resistor is the only problem in this power supply. Let's install it back. Okay, so I want to check this uh, switching IC because this switching IC has a internal MOSFET I think let's test the source with the train it is not shorted okay so here is we have short because of the transformer uh, so we'll replace this resistor and we will try it, okay? Okay. Let me just take it out. Is the resistor okay. so again the resistor is reading how much It's actually open circuit it's not reading anything its colors are red red gold gold so this is a low value resistor I will check it and we will install one so here is a resistor this is a half watt a little bit bigger than the old one but I think it will be okay so this one shows 2.2 ohms as you can see the old one shows nothing so it's the same colors gold gold or i mean red red gold gold so it is 2.2 ohms as i said before so let's install this one and see if the power supply will come back again okay I will use this as a reference so we can bend these legs.
Okay. If we measure now, we should read 2.2 ohms. It is 2.2. I will install it just enough to test it and see if we to, it if it will work or not okay so I think I will install this back I think we need to install it all together because it's hard to turn it on like that I'm afraid something will touch so let's install it like that and see if it will work or not okay. Do we need the fan? Let's install it. Okay, now we can test it. Again, I'll be using a series lamp to, to limit the current. Let me just connect it. Okay, so I connected it through a series lamp as you can see over there. So let's turn it on and hope nothing goes wrong. Okay, so the, LED, the lamp flashed. That is a good sign. So let's check the green wire to ground so the green wire has 11.3 volts is that normal and the also the yellow line has 11.3 I think that is normal let's start the power supply let's bring a jumper wire and start it or we can use a tweezer so if we use this and the so yeah the, the power supply started as you can see the fan is spinning if I take the tweezer it stops if I insert it again the fan starts so the power supply is working and the problem was only that resistor I don't know why it got blown so let's hope it will not blow again the one I used is a little bit uh, bigger than this one this is a quarter watt the one I used is a half watt so Thank you for watching and uh, I hope I can see you in another video.